This is a short but important video on the Holy Grail of investing, which is a really powerful technique. So what is the Holy Grail? It's a portfolio of assets with strong but uncorrelated returns, and it was coined by Ray Dalio. So you've got one part of the portfolio, at least one part, that shows growth or is near an all-time high. And the main component of your portfolio will be a global tracker. And the idea is that you can always sell part of your portfolio for what appears to be a decent price. And by that I mean you can look up prices every day. It's not necessarily that's what the true value of the asset is. But when you look at them, uh, at least one part of the portfolio will have a price quite near the highest that you've ever seen and you won't feel bad about selling it for some income in retirement. The portfolio will also have less volatility and it will have smaller drawdowns of a shorter duration than uh, some of the other funds out there. So what alternative assets to a global tracker should you use? Well, it used to be bonds, but this doesn't work in a low interest rate environment because the returns on bonds would be very low or ones where interest rates are rising and hence bond prices are falling. So we don't really bother with bonds or debt at all. Emerging markets are much more strongly correlated with developed markets than they were 20 plus years ago. So when you read articles that say, oh, this is a good diversifier, they're either just out of date or copying old information. And small caps and property are definitely not safe havens in a downturn. So here's what I mean. So we've got the uh, returns of a global tracker. We've got its sharp ratio. We've got the volatility there, the maximum drawdown. Then we've got Vanguard UK gilt. So it's uncorrelated here because that number is close to zero but the sharp ratio is much worse. So the returns, yeah, absolutely horrible. And it's actually more volatile than the global tracker. This one's emerging markets. Um, and again, returns not as good and a bit more volatile. Small cap, again, more volatile, returns not as good. Property returns, absolutely horrible. Volatility, well, about the same as a global tracker. So if we had this as a portfolio, I think we'd be pretty disappointed with what's going on because it's all sort of just bombing out at the same time. So you could look at something like this, which is the fund that goes up every year. It's an absolute return fund. I'll put a link to it in the description and at the top here. So it's MAN GLG Alpha Select Alternative. Now it doesn't go up massively every year but it does retain its value because it's got these long and short simultaneous characteristics but the problem is I started buying it about here and then ah and it's difficult to explain this performance I mean it must just be well blame it on Liz Truss or something but it, it must be that uh, what it was short on went up and when it was long on went down um, and this sort of thing can scare you out of what is otherwise a pretty decent investment. I mean, it's an amazing sharp ratio, very low volatility generally. So here is an alternative portfolio that I've put together. And if you follow people like David Stevenson, he will tell you that BH Macro is pretty much the only investment trust that seems uncorrelated with anything. And there's the correlation there, but the problem is it is like uh, the Man GLG alternative. It's a black box and it's a macro hedge fund doing all kinds of things, all kinds of positions that it's got. Um, it doesn't really explain them to you in terms of what's going on. You just have to hold it and hope, but it would have done reasonably well. Um, these returns are over the last 12 months. So I looked at some other types of assets that would have some decent numbers behind them. Um, the best one was Gresham House Energy Storage Fund. Um, pretty phenomenal returns because there's a shortage of storage capacity in the UK and with high energy prices this one was able to, to do very well. Um, wouldn't necessarily buy it today because it's already gone up in price a lot but it's something to note that okay this is something that's uncorrelated 
and could potentially have decent returns. Um, then we've got Greencoat UK Wind, again uncorrelated, positive returns, uh, JLN Environmental Assets. So that's actually quite a good one. It's quite a mixture of things going on there. A um, bit more volatile, um, but it did generate positive returns. Rougher in terms of an average daily return annualized, this is actually negative, excluding any dividends because uh, bonds just performed so poorly that uh, it did drag the performance down a bit there. But again, we've got a low correlation. So this safe haven yeah, is pretty good. Uh, this final one is a commodities exchange traded fund and um, it has done well, but the, the more recent returns, not quite so good, but again, uncorrelated. So we put it all together. The maximum drawdown is 12%, which is pretty good, pretty phenomenal, the way it all blends together. Annualized returns are positive, and we've got positive sharp ratio. So then when I plot the portfolio performance, and I do this on a Google Sheet that I sell on eBay, and I'll put a link in the description, and it's well worth playing around with to get some portfolios that really suit your needs. So we see didn't go down as much in the uh, COVID crash um, and then pretty low volatility here, which was quite useful and certainly avoided this downward spike here compared to the Vanguard developed world ETF. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like. Let me know your comments. Subscribe to the channel and look around at the other videos because there's lots of interesting stuff going on.